Right, here at Addington, something very, very different. Tony Hart joins me firstly. Hello, mate. Yeah, g'day, Paul. How are you? Good. I'll, I'll, I'll hang on the microphone. I wasn't sure you are going to shake me in. Now, you could be a jockey. You're small enough to be a jockey, but we're actually here with uh, inside the Addington um, track here. The greyhounds are about to get underway after the cup trials happen. You, you're a greyhound trainer? Yeah, uh, we've got about 70 dogs. We've got two set-ups. We've got one at Rakaia and one in Bankside, and we're going pretty good. I think we've run about 84 races in the last three months, so watch us huge. That is huge, yeah. uh, having a big yeah. run. I'd love to ask you your colours, but you greyhound guys have to get the numbers you're given. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, over here, like, is, is greyhound big here in New Zealand? Yeah, greyhound racing is uh, pretty big. Um, I think there's about 3,000 dogs in New Zealand at the moment racing all around the country. There's about seven different tracks in New Zealand. Um, but, yeah, they're going real good. I was fortunate enough the other day, I sat there and uh, had Sky Channel going like most of us racing junkies do, and... Uh, the commentator come off the long call, I must say, and he, he pumped this dog up something special. Postman Pat, what a dog. He is absolutely sensational. Uh, I actually train him. Um, serious? Yeah, no, serious, mate. Yeah, uh, they just did Honestly, a big... we didn't know that, did we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, they just did a big write-up in the recorder over in Australia about him. Um, he's an absolute freak. Uh, I remember the first time we spelled him out and then we trolled him back here again. He went 16.93. His first start here, he broke the maiden track record. He went 17.07. Then he came out about three weeks later and he broke the class one record. He went 16.96. Yeah, absolutely huge. 17.03. I reckon his last start here wasn't as fast, but it was just brilliant. Like Conditions weren't quite the same. He jumped level with them. Yep. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, he's not too bad. Then he, by the time he got to the turn, then the, just was like a turbo just hit. Yeah, yeah. So he, um, he just sort of jumps with him, um, and once he gets clear, he's away. Uh, he's an absolute freak. Like, he's racing at uh, Southland on Friday. He's up against his kennel mate, Big Daddy. Um, so that's going to be really interesting because Big Daddy's won five out of five. So, But, yeah. But, no, he's, he's just an absolute freak. He's not racing here next Wednesday, is he? Uh, he will be racing here Thursday week over 520 um, we're pretty certain he'll get the 520. We did a post-to-post -post with him on Monday. So, yeah, he absolutely went massive. I'll be here. I want an interview at the back with Postman Pat after he wins. That's fine. We'll do that. Now, you own a couple of trotters too, though, Tom. Well, one trotter anyway. You, you've dabbled in the, into the trotting weight ranks. Yeah, yeah. I, um, a few years ago, I had a pacer called Romanite. Uh, he won a couple. He went all right, but, you know, tough game. And we've just bought a trotter called Debar. Um, I've got a half share in it, so yeah, but no, he's just working up and uh, hopefully he'll be, be racing in about three months' time. Yeah, but how big is this carnival? Like the, the thoroughbreds start on Saturday, they pretty much start yep. the carnival if you like. Um, uh, but for, for racing New Zealand, how big is this like whole carnival um, coming up now? Uh, absolutely massive. Um, everyone sort of comes down for the whole week. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting actually because. Um, they all turn up at the Greyhounds too on the Thursday night and have a big night here. Um, and then obviously you've got the, on the Tuesday you've got the New Zealand Trotting Cup and on the Saturday you've got the Galloping Cup. So yeah, it's a great week. It, it, yeah, and the yeah. build up and everyone gets excited about it. Yeah. And I love this, like you guys I think are running a little bit late for your first because you're waiting for trials, but it's important trials, everyone has to wait for it, it's all got to be done properly. I think the buy-in from the entire industry, what I see, only a small portion of it, is just so good for racing. Absolutely, you know, um, yeah, but no, we sort of, you know, with, when they have the cup trial and that, we have to wait, you know, a wee bit longer, but that's fine for us. I mean, you know, it's all part and part of, part of racing. Yeah. All right, quickly before I let you go, Postman Pat keeps you on the way he's going. Is he going to go to Australia? Because I've given this dog a big rap. You know, I asked a couple of my mates back there, I said, I see this dog watching him. Are we any chance of travelling to Australia with him? Uh, yeah, we'll probably look at it like we've got a few races coming up. We've got the Waikato um, Restricted Age Classic and then obviously the Derby and then we'll probably look at it after the Derby. We may send them to Australia, give you guys a bit of a hammering over there. <laughs> that's a big call, yeah. but no, that's exciting. Adelaide should be good and that, that helps the sport. Absolutely. You know, it's all part and parcel of it. I mean, you know, um, be nice to have a dog race over in Australia. Yeah. Um, I said there before you're small enough to be a jockey. Were you ever a track jockey? No, I thought about it. Then my brother, he was going to be a jockey too, but he's a wee bit bigger than me now, but no. The, the number one word I hear here in New Zealand, I've only been here for about four days, five days, we. It's, it's everywhere. In Australia, we just means two of us are going to do something. You guys, it just comes out all the time. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Really enjoyed it. Um, you got a runner in the first? Not in the first. I've got... Um, 
Don't worry about tips. I don't do tips too much because by the time this goes out, the races will be over. We, we, we'll just worry about postman Pat. And what was the other dog? Big Daddy. Big Daddy in the Watch same. Watch out for them on Friday. Fr Friday. Southland. Very yep. good. All right, mate. Thank you very much. And uh, awesome. thanks for giving me a bit of time. Awesome. Thanks very much.